vlogging 875, I'm practicing my cone toss. Perfect, every time. Hey, you. Good morning, it's Saturday, which makes today protest day apparently. It's the fourth weekend in a row that protests are planned here in Paris and across the country in France, and I have decided to stay inside for most of it. I am gonna leave the house for food, because I did buy a bunch of snacks yesterday, but I don't have like real food and I also need to get coffee. I did try to buy like uh, croissants in the store last night. Store-bought croissants here are still better than what you might expect, but they were all sold out. It was actually kind of a, like, there were a lot of people in the grocery store last night. I felt like people, I felt kind of like people might be stocking up, but I don't know if Friday nights are a regular, you know, shopping event or not. I don't think that they really are, uh, but I'm gonna go out, get some croissants, then come back, make some coffee and you know, just, Chill, I, I, needed a, I needed a nice rest day anyway, so it's the perfect excuse to stay inside. Uh, but of course, if I see anything on the streets, I will film it before walking the other way. So let's go get some croissants, I suppose. Well, I can hear some police, like police sirens, and I hear helicopter. Helicopters are rare. Helicopters are really rare in Paris, so they usually mean something's going on. All kinds of interesting stuff. Apparently some of the yellow vests have been sharing the maps of the sewers, the underground of Paris, in an effort to be able to get around police barricades and stuff like that. And some of these stores that are usually open, that's a floofers. What a cute dog. There are a number of stores and stuff that are closed up that are usually open. I've seen some places boarded up, especially banks. I noticed that the banks were the ones that got some of the most abuse the closer you got to the Champs Elysees. I'm gonna walk a little bit closer than I need to, just to see if I can see anything. And then uh, I'll head over to get croissants and coffee and go home because Part of me feels like I should definitely, I really want to see this, but Prushan's warnings about the police intervention, you know, I'm, I'll probably stay away from it. Really tempting to go closer though. It just feels like a little bit of history happening around you. And if it wasn't for the violence, I would definitely want to see what was going on. I mean, I still want to see what's going on, but I also just want to have a nice relaxing day instead of getting hit in the face by something. But it definitely feels extra quiet out here. There's like no traffic. And people are, I don't know, there's a little bit of a tension in the air for sure. No, they better than me probably from the news, although maybe worse at the same time. What? So probably over half a mile, like around a kilometer away from the Arc de Triomphe, and you can see like Tons of police staged around this. There's like lots of different police and security forces staged over here. This doesn't seem particularly extreme, but my curiosity is being outweighed by both my hunger and my desire to just rest instead of, you know, wander into trouble. So against my better judgment, I will not be going any closer. As curious as I am, let's go get some croissants. But like everything, it's interesting to see even Starbucks is closed behind me. It's kind of crazy. And there's so many things that are boarded up, and yet so many other random things that are open. Hairdresser's open, chocolate shop is open, and then the liquor store is boarded up. Bookstore is still open. It's weird. This is a weird combination of things. I really hope the bakery is open. The other store, like my usual grocery store, is under lock and key, so I'm hungry. Also, I was hoping to get some fresh coffee from a local spot. Hopefully they're open. It's just weird to see, like, Different people, everything from like open to closed to boarded up. It's an interesting combination. That lady had two baguettes. I think we're gonna be fine. The uh, other thing that was interesting is that sushi shop hung a yellow vest in their window. Kind of, it felt like, you know, blood over the doors of Passover. Like, please pass by this house. We swear we're one of you. Um, it's really interesting. The farther away I get from the Arc de Triomphe, the more businesses seem to be open. A little bit, but not much. This is like, please, this, Stuff's not usually this shut down on a Saturday. Either people taking it as a national holiday or as an opportunity to protest. I'm not sure, but I uh, guess we'll see how it all lands. It's so interesting, like it's this is just it's an interesting time to be here for sure. I don't feel unsafe, but I definitely feel a little bit of the tension in the air. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my food and head home. <laughs>
Well, according to the locals in the coffee shop, like everything is closed down around town today because it's just kind of spread. And at different parts of the city have had their own little clashes, I guess, last weekend. And so even the Bon Marche and the Grand Epicerie and all these really big stores are closed down. It's a good thing I went sh snack shopping yesterday, but lunch could be rough today. That line at Ure is also a telltale sign that things are really closed down for the day. So anywho, they were all like, well, it's good to have an American here to see this just to know how the French operate. And I was like, yeah, I'm aware. I'm gonna go home now. And it's just interesting to see, there's such a diversity of, there's such a diversity of reactions to this. I don't know, I definitely need to keep asking my local friends what their thoughts are on it so I can better understand it myself. But for the most part, I think the French really support the, uh, the protests. It's just the Parisians aren't super thrilled with the violence and the broken windows and stuff like that. So which is understandable. Anyways, uh, I'm thinking we're gonna binge a whole bunch of Game of Thrones today and just chill at home. That's kind of my plan. <laughs> Paris just feels really quiet. Which I guess makes sense. It's kind of crazy to see. It actually is really nice. As long as nothing exciting happens. So there's always a possibility something exciting happens. It's not so bad. Hey you! Come back here! I know I said this, but unfortunately they were out of uh, coffee, like to sell coffee beans, so I got a cappuccino to hold me over for the time being. Anyways, I think Pushan's gonna come say hi while I'm standing here taking time lapses. Then I'm gonna binge Game of Thrones. I was gonna go home, but then I was like, ah, I gotta go explore a little bit more. I can't, I can't stop yet, really. But I think after we say hi to Pushan, I mean, I don't expect anything exciting to happen in my life for the rest of the day, and it's starting to rain, so I'll probably just go hole up in my apartment and edit this and then watch Game of Thrones all day. That's my plan. It's starting to rain. <laughs> Sean, or he found me. I'm not sure who found who. Anyways, we're just walking down the middle of the street because why not? Boulevard Victor Hugo, or is it Avenue Victor Hugo? Avenue. Avenue Victor Hugo, walking towards the Arc de Triomphe with like uh, no competition. And there's ample parking for anybody if you'd like to come grab a spot now. There's just a slight risk that your car might get burned, but aside from that, we good. <laughs> adventure we went we saw something was going on police failed any extra commentary before we wrap up uh, we were in the right spot they all got super excited we saw a bunch of people walk up to us with machine guns kind of scary for a second but they all just left for another location i guess saved by the bell as it were so anywho we're gonna find some lunch i'm gonna wrap this up here probably i'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for i don't know hopefully paris is still standing i'm sure we're fine it's really windy all of a sudden i'll see you tomorrow